Okay, so we, in the previous clip, we looked at the set on less than and the set on less than immediate and how it works and how it uses the most significant bit of the subtraction result, the subtraction answer, um, to determine if t0 gets set to a 0 or a 1. So ultimately, if the first one is less than the second one, we saw previously how um, if S3 is less than S4, T0 gets set to A1. What I want to do is do an example where we look at um, you know, how this would be uh, used to convert or translate C code. So in this case, we're doing a conversion where we're looking at um, determining whether or not I is less than 4. Um, so right away, since there is an immediate value, right? if this had been i less than j, then I would have been concerned with using a set or um, on less than. Um, but since we have an immediate value, um, it looks like a set on less than immediate makes sense. The value that we're going to set to either a 0 or a 1, I'll call t0. It could be anything. It could be t1, t2. Now I need the two registers, the i and the 4. Well, the i is stored inside of register S1. And then the immediate value, 4, um, is can be placed directly in here. Now, um, so if it is true that i is less than 4, then we want to go ahead and do this addition. So how do I know if it's true? Well, I'm going to have to look at 0, or t0, rather. Um, so generally, with a set on less than immediate, you will need a branch that's associated with it. So what I'm going to do is test my value to see if it's a 0 or a 1. In this case, if I test to see that it's a zero, if I test and find out that it's a zero, it means that i is not less than four. And if i is not less than four, then we want to go straight to i equals i plus one. So let me put a label here. And we are going to jump to that label. And we're going to do the addition. And since it's an immediate value that's being added. We'll do an add immediate, right? There's a one there. So I'm trying to do line 10. And the value that I is stored in is an S, is register S1. So S1 equals register S1 plus one. After we do that addition, what's the next line? Well, it just continues on downward. So that's OK. Um, so if i is not less than 4, we just simply want to branch. Otherwise, we want to do um, the addition. And so that addition is h, i, n, j, s0, s1, and s2. So that is the statement that we want to do that's within um, the, the braces, so to speak. Um, this is the statement that we want to do if the condition tests true. Now, if it is true, um, since this is not an else statement, we're still going to do the i equals i plus 1. So this will continue on downward and do the add i. So that's a simple set on less than immediate statement. Um, and if you look at the, um, let's go ahead and erase this. There is an alternative way of implementing this if statement, 
where I could load up a 4 into register T1 and then do a comparison. Since now T1 is a 4, um, this where T1 is a 4, I'm comparing now um, S1 to T1. Um, and so what I'm looking at is S1, which is an I, and I'm looking to see if it's greater than or equal to um, 4, which is in T1. And so if um, I is greater than or equal to 4, that's saying that this is false. The opposite of I being less than 4 the opposite is that it's greater than or possibly equal to 4. So this um, branch happens when line 8 is false. And if line 8 is false, then we just want to go straight to the addition here. And that's what this does. It goes straight to the addition um, of i equals i plus 1. Otherwise, do the standard h equals i plus j. Now, branch if greater than or equal to is convenient because there is no instruction that directly translates. There's um, uh, i greater than or equal to 4 requires a pseudo instruction. There's no 32-bit word that um, that converts um, this or represents this. There's no 32-bit word that represents the BGE. So BGE is actually a pseudo instruction. Now it's convenient, but it the logic is a bit tougher. So when you have a conversion example that's less than um, then generally these are pretty easy to work with but when you have a conversion that is something like i greater than 5 or i greater than or equal to 6 um, then you have to get a little bit more creative with the translations um, if I specify if I ask you to do a conversion and it's on an exam I may say or may limit you to standard um, legitimate true MIPS instructions versus pseudo instructions. So if I say specifically no pseudo instructions, which I typically do on a midterm or exam or quiz, um, then you have to be really careful. But if it's a project, you can use pseudo instructions and macros, etc. So I want to talk about looping now. Um, uh, let's make that the next um, clip, the video clip. We'll talk about looping and how we can use um, our tests to do various loops. So we'll pull all of this together.